Jerusalem is the highlight of any pilgrimage to the Holy Land. It's not just a city that has some 4,000 years of history, making it one of the oldest cities on earth, but it's mentioned 806 times in the Bible with names as beautiful as City of God, Joyful City, and Desired One. Jerusalem in Hebrew is Yerushalayim and is often translated as City of Peace. It's situated on the southern Judean Plateau, which is the highest point, is 2,500 feet above sea level. Just 37 miles west of Jerusalem is the Mediterranean Sea, and 22 miles to its east is the lowest point in the earth, the Dead Sea. This explains why in John 5.1, Jesus, quote, went up to Jerusalem. And in the peril of the Good Samaritan, the poor man that fell among the thieves was going, quote, down from Jerusalem. This idea of ascending to Jerusalem does not merely refer to geography. Jerusalem was the site of the temple of God, therefore a place of spiritual ascent. The notion of ascending to Jerusalem persists today. For example, Jews who immigrate to Israel are said to be making Aliyah, or Ascent. Many Christian tours recite the Psalms of Ascent as their buses climb the road to Jerusalem. What a fitting way to prepare one's heart for the special experience of visiting the city that God chose for Himself. The Psalms of Ascent end with verse 3 of Psalm 134, which is the pilgrim's prayer that they would be blessed by God while in Zion. Ascending to Jerusalem is ascending to the temple, the place God chose to place there His name. The purpose of the ascent, according to the texts that regard the pilgrimage feasts, is to meet God in His house, the place one goes in order to see Him and be seen of Him. Psalm 132, verses 13 and 14. For the Lord has chosen Zion, and he's desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here I will dwell, for I have desired.